2017, the town of Woodstock was thrown into the national spotlight. The popular podcast, S-Town, broke records, a partly non-fictional, darker glimpse of the town through a local eccentric antique clock repairman's eyes. That man, John B. McLemore, later took his own life. But the town is now moving forward in a very big way, shining a new spotlight on suicide prevention, plus the fourth annual Woodstock Music Festival, three weekends from now. Cheryl Dodson, one of John B. McLemore's friends and the town's mayor, uh, mayor's wife, joins us live in Studio C to tell us more. Welcome to the show, Cheryl. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Good morning. Everybody knows that voice. Uh, <laughs> you were in uh, uh, Chapter 7, right, of this podcast. That's right. And there was a nail story you were telling there. How popular, I, I guess you, you received a lot of calls, phone calls, uh, and emails about your appearance. Oh, yes. I, um, you know, it was devastating at first when you've lost a friend in that manner and you want something good to come out of a tragedy like that. And I was very fortunate. A lot of people reached out to me and, and helped me begin to heal and offer hope. And I wanted to do the same, you know. Exactly. And I was going to get there because, you know, it was at, at first, um, when you start out the story, you're kind of interested and, and it's interesting altogether, but uh, it's an interesting story. And then it kind of turns tragic at the end. Mm -hmm. And when people confront you about the story, about the podcast, you have to relive John's suicide every single time. Uh, and that became hard for you, and that led you to become a suicide prevention advocate. And now you are offering a new class. Uh, tell us about that. That's right. You know, when someone is in crisis physically, we, we perform CPR. And with mental health crisis, we perform QPR. It stands for Question, Persuade, and Refer, and it is for anyone to help someone that they're concerned about. You do not have to be a professional. This is a simple class about how to communicate with someone that you're concerned about. So we're very fortunate now. You can take this training online via Zoom. You can go to our website, aspark.org, and register, and we would love to have you join us. And you heard, Cheryl, that's aspark, A-S-P-A-R-C, dot org. It's right there at the bottom of your, of your screen. Cheryl, three weekends from now, May 8th, the big festival, Woodstock Music Festival. Uh, what's planned? I know a big guest has been named. Oh, yeah, we've got Colt Ford for a headliner. I mean, how exciting exactly. is that? Exactly, <laughs> yeah. I was listening to his music last night. It's great. And, and when you uh, visit our website, you can go to the town page or the music festival page. You can order this beautiful black shirt. It's so cool. It's got A Sparks website on there. And proceeds from the purchase of this shirt benefit suicide prevention in Alabama. And this is the fourth annual festival. Uh, tell us how it works. I mean, when do gates open? Do you have to buy tickets? Um, the event is free. Uh, there is a $10 parking charge that benefits our local senior center, our library, and our ballparks. And, but the, the concert is free. We've got uh, wonderful sponsors that have helped us bring it to our community. And the gates open at 3, begins at 4. Um, wonderful lineup. It opens with Sugar Cane Jane. We've got $3 Voodoo, Georgia Thunderbolts, then Court Fold. A court, Colt Ford and Lost and Found. Three dollar voodoo. Yes, my like husband's it. gonna sing a song with them. Okay, I can't <laughs> wait. Mayor Jeff there yes. in, in the town of Woodstock. Again, you can learn more. Go to ASPARC.org, that's ASPARC.org, uh, about the suicide prevention. And then the town of Woodstock has their own website. It will link you to all the info about the Woodstock Music Festival May 8th. Cheryl Dodson, thanks for coming on the show and sharing your story and being brave. Uh, and we're excited about what's happening in Woodstock. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. The summer is here at last. The sky is overcast and no 